Hello, this is Pastor Ron Alk Jr. of Prayer House Assembly of God. Thank you for joining me on our 365-day devotion through Live Dead Joy. Today is day 12, January 12, and today's devotion topic is Wrong Rightness. The readings for today are Genesis 34, 36, Psalm 12, Matthew 12, and Acts 12. Who would have thought that Shechem, the fornicator, would turn out to be the good guy? Simeon and Levi were technically right to be outraged at the dishonor done at Dinah, their sister. But they defended the family honor in such a way that made Jacob obnoxious among the inhabitants of the land. Genesis thirty-four thirty. In Matthew 12, the Pharisees were technically right about honoring the Sabbath, but functionally wrong about dishonoring people. Their misguided and self-righteous applications of principle led them to mistreat others as a part of the process of feeling good about themselves. What is most interesting about self-righteousness is its lethal nature. Simeon and Levi slaughtered an entire community. The Pharisees went out and plotted against Jesus how they might destroy him, Matthew 12, 14. Being wrong right not only destroys others, it ends up suicidal. For when the light that is in us is darkness, how great is that darkness, Matthew six twenty three. What is most sobering about self-righteousness is that it is a double slayer. It attacks another at injury to itself. Jealousy leads to demonizing others, even friends and colleagues. When we start to look for the sins and mistakes of others, two tragedies occur. First, we find sins and expose them, often through gossip and slander, rather than allowing love to cover a multitude of sins. Second, by being a critic, a flawed critic, we remove ourselves from God's covering of our flaws. We forfeit immunity, and the ultimate result is disastrous self-injury. I consider the most terrifying verse in all scripture to be Matthew twelve thirty-six. But I say to you, for every idle word men may speak, they will give an account of it in the day of judgment. Most of our idle words criticize others while hypocritically praising, directly or indirectly, ourselves. Even if there is some basis for criticism, this is wrong rightness, and it is most foolish. When we take credit for the gifts and favors of God, we, then we self-righteously destroy others. We ingest worms into our spirit, Acts 12:23 and doom ourselves to painful and ignoble ends. Hypocrisy kills us from the inside out.